there, when restoring an image, um, there's usually lots of dust and things like that, especially on older images. And if we look at this image, it obviously has lots of things in it. And when we restore an image, we want to look at a few things. One is that we want to retain the quality of the fact that it's an old image. We don't want to make it look like a brand new digital image. It's all clean and without character. But we do want all these white things out of the way. So as opposed to cloning every little bit, there's a few um, other things we can do, one of which is called the dust and scratches filter. So you can find that under filter, noise, dust and scratches, and what it does is it looks like this. And by adjusting the radius, which is looking at, um, well, the radius is looking at each pixel and then the area around that pixel, so in this case four pixels, and the threshold is how many levels. You see the threshold goes up to 255, our full palette, and you can see that the image retains itself. As we go back down, it gets blurry. So what we want to be able to do is we actually want to keep the radius as low as possible and the threshold as high as possible. And you can see that as we look at this, um, these things are starting to go down. But let's say I was able to get rid of all of these things and find a nice little subway in here, like so. Okay, well, if we look at this image, I've definitely gotten rid of all of these, and I'm holding down the mouse over the image to look at that, but I've also softened a lot of the characteristics. So look at the face. This is before the filter, this is after. You see how it would soften the face that is already fairly soft to begin with because of the kind of lens and stuff that was taken. So generally you don't want to use this filter over a huge area of space. What you want to do is use it very selectively through selections. So I would go and find a specific space, just use the marquee tool, then go to my filter and adjust for this one spot. With preview on I can see what's going on. So I need a little larger threshold. Back this off a little bit, like so. And once I have one sp spot done, I can just go to another spot. And once we use a filter once, of course I can hit Command F to use it in the exact same way and go to each individual spot and take care of them as is necessary. And I might have to readjust my overall settings for some of these if, if I need to, but in this way I'm actually keeping as much of the, net in the original background as possible and just fixing the pieces that I need as opposed to changing all of them. 